Hi, this is Mike Duncan. I'm with Salient Consulting, and in this video we're going to take a look at passing parameters to WebDirect. So what do I mean by parameters? Parameters appear at the end of a URL, and they'll look like this. Here's our script, and the parameter that we're passing is actually this last name equals R. So what's that look like? So we're going to open up a web browser and go to the URL. It's going to redirect this to our WebDirect session where we'll log in with the demo account and it's part of our startup script we're gonna retrieve the values of all the parameters that we pass to it in this case it's that last name equals R and as part of our startup script we did a find for that and you'll see we're in a found count of two records out of nine both with the last name starting with R so let's take a look at how this works there's a few steps involved there's a few PHP scripts the first one is going to provide our link and you'll see at the bottom it's going to redirect to where our WebDirect server is hosted with the file. All parameters are stored in a PHP session. Once we're in the WebDirect session, there's a web viewer in the startup script that's going to load this script. What this script does is it takes all the variables in our session and writes them out to a temp file. In the final step that makes all this work, there's an insert from URL step that gets the contents of our temporary file and sets it to a global field in FileMaker. From there, all our variables are in a global field where we can just simply parse through and do with what we want. In this example, we're performing a find. So here in our startup script, you can see reference to some PHP scripts where we're going to retrieve all of our parameters with this insert from URL step. From here on out, it's simply setting the different variables and doing what we want to in our script. We can see here, there's an example, if our found count is zero, show us a warning and simply display all records. So what's that look like in WebDirect? I've passed it some parameters where I know there's no records that are going to match. So we log into our account, the startup script runs, performs the find, and we get an error message, no records were found. As soon as I click OK, we're back in a found set of all. So hopefully this shows how to restore the functionality of passing parameters into a WebDirect session. Some people refer to it as deep linking. You can get the sample files from our GitHub page and read more about it on our blog. Thanks for watching. This has been Mike Duncan with Sunlight Consulting.